and welcome back to Rose Marie's Heart Pattern. Uh, last one I left you, we was working on this chain, and I said for you to work down here to the bottom, okay, and stop. Well, that's where you should be at. Now, this next part is tricky. Easy to do, but it's tricky if you don't watch what you're doing, okay? And right here, let's see, it says work 15 times, chain 2 pico, 2 pico, 2 pico, 2 around the outside of the heart. Lock join after each six double stitch sections. That's one chain, okay? On the row beneath and using the same pico twice at the bottom of the heart. That's this pico down here at the bottom of the heart, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to go see figure three, okay? Right here, this is the part we're doing. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. It's this little niche here, okay? It's a chain that looks like a ring, okay? That's where people get confused. They think it's a ring. It's not. It's a chain, okay? So we're going to do two picots, or three picots separated by two. Get my terminology right here. Alright, so we've got our first pico here. And we've got our second pico we're putting in. And then the third pico. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, pull that up snug, we're going to lock join back in to that pico. Okay? Now, this can get fiddly. I won't lie to you. It can get fiddly. But you make it do what you want it to do. You control that thread and you pull that thread down to start your lock join. Okay? Get your twist out. Drop your finger in there. Pick up your shuttle. Drop it down through there. Okay? Pull up the slack some. And what you're going to do is pull that in. Okay? Adjust, adjust, adjust. Alright? lock her down. Then you have that loop, okay, that sits right at the bottom. Now when you block and uh, starch this, stiffen it, whatever you choose to do, you'll be able to lock that down and it'll look right, okay? So now, that is the little fiddly, fiddly thing down here at the bottom. Now I want you to continue this chain all the way around, back up to here, and lock it in here, okay? Once you do that, cut your ends, tie a knot in it, okay? But leave you enough. If this is a practice piece, you don't have to worry about it, but leave you enough to sew in your ends, all right? If it's a practice piece, you don't have to worry about it. Cut your ends, just leave them out of the way. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to make this Josephine chain to fit on there. Okay? Here it is on the heart. Alright? It's this little chain right here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video.